they? Let me go. Oh, you're not going anywhere. My nose started to bleed. I uh, wasn't quite fully dressed, you see. I couldn't go after her. I think she must have been not quite right in the head, you know? Who is? Well, there you are. Who is? Who indeed? But why should she butt you like that? What did she say? Oh, she's too frightened to speak. She kind of gabbled something in Russian as she ran out of the room. Where'd you pick up that lingo? The army, uh, intelligence corps. I was one of the team who interviewed Red Army soldiers who got tangled up with us towards the end of the war. You're not in the army now? <laughs> no. No. So six months ago, you were interviewing the comrades. Then a Russian girl goes missing, having just called at your house. Question. Did this dame know something about you, is that it? I don't know. You're holding out on me, Benny. Don't waste my time. I don't know. Really, don't. Mr. Marlowe, the point I'm trying to make... I swear before God... I swear before something you believe in, good buddy. I swear on my mother's grave that Sonia was alive and unharmed when she left my place. So who says different? I think I'm going to be arrested. The police, they're at me all the time. There's a man watching me. They've told me not to leave town. They don't seem to believe me when I say there were two men outside the house that night. In fact, my telling them that has made them even more suspicious of me. Seems a girl never went back to her flat. Where's that? Queensway, apparently. She lives with Amanda, if that's her name. Who is she? The girl in the nightclub. Another horn. Well, if you want to put it like that. How else would you put it? Well, I don't know that I'm that interested in calling them names. Dog really. shit by any other name smells just as foul, my friend, and it still sticks to the bottom of his shoe, no matter what you call it. Be as mealy mouthed as you like, but not around me, okay? You've stepped in something nasty and you want me to clean it up, isn't that right? I'm the scoop. I'm the brush and the shovel. Mr. Marlowe, what I want is for somebody to find that girl. Or to find the two men who are outside the house. Or to prove that nothing nasty happened to her from my hands while she was with me. But it did. What? Something nasty did happen to her at your hands. I'm telling the truth, Mr. Marlowe. I didn't say you weren't, Well, then I don't... All I'm saying was something nasty did happen to her when she was with you. Wouldn't that be the way our mother would see it? Her mother? Oh, for God's sake. You just swore on your own mother's grave, Binny. Mr. Marlowe. Aren't you being unduly censorious for this day and age? What's the day? What's the age? Money's not particularly one of my problems, and I'll pay you well. Oh, you don't know how much I want yet. And I'm not as cheap as I look. I'll pay whatever you ask. My good name is important to me, but I'm not paying you to make me feel small, am I? Oh, you don't have to do that. That's thrown in without charge. <laughs> 